Hey everyone, Don Perdom at UnveilTheWeb.com. So this morning I'm sitting here thinking about a conversation I'm having on LinkedIn with some people about why isn't my content marketing working? I've been at this for a year and it just doesn't seem to be crossing the divide. It's, it's just kind of an interesting phenomena that people are really struggling with this. So just through asking a few questions, it became really discerning to me and then looking at their websites that they've got really great content and they've got really good stuff going on on their websites, but there's a couple of elements that are missing in here. And the first element is, is that the type of business that they have is more of an offline business with an online component. But they want to do content marketing or inbound marketing to drive traffic into the website that can introduce them to new people that might call, fill out forms, show up in their place of business, whatever the case might be there, right? But here's what's happening. They're devoting so much time to content marketing that they're neglecting the things that made their business really work. And that was networking and meeting people for real and doing things that actually showed the true human side of their business, not just the educational side. So I think there has to be this blend between the two worlds of online and offline that have to come together into one to make it work for them. Now here's the interesting part, and I've been thinking a lot about this myself over the last couple of weeks. How many of us are putting out content that, while exceptional, while really good, isn't driving the traffic to our sites because we're not doing those things that are necessary to business development and growth inside marketing? In other words, we're leaving it all inside one basket, and we're hoping that one basket's going to work for us when that basket is a long-term growth basket, not a short-term one. But we need short-term growth and cash flow. One of the things that I am absolutely becoming convinced of when it comes to content marketing is that this tool is really for those who are in the discovery phase of trying to find answers to their problems. They're in the discovery phase of trying to find new or originative ways to get a need met or to have some type of improvement made in their lives or to find a product or a service that can uh, bring them more leisure or joy. Now that's obviously going to be dependent on what type of need they have or what type of business you have and how those things match up with one another, right? But here's the crux of it. Again, I want to go back and reemphasize that when people are researching on the internet, they're doing just that. It doesn't mean that today they're ready to buy. It doesn't mean that today they're ready to fill out that form. It doesn't mean anything other than they're researching. And our perspective many times is that just because they're on, their, they're on our website, that means they're ready to buy from us, and they're not. So let me ask a question. What are we doing with our content that's giving them a reason to A, click through to other pages and learn more about us, Two, create content that really drives home a specific problem for a specific person with a specific possible solution? One that inspires them to take action. One that inspires them to pick up that phone and call, to walk into your place of business, or to fill out that form. What are we doing that is keeping us from looking like a commodity in their eyes? Because again, remember what I said, if that content that you're creating is the first piece of introduction to your business for them, and you're communicating the same things, that the other five websites that they have been or are going to go to are communicating, then you're not looking or sounding any different than anybody else. And you put them in a conundrum because now they don't know how to buy you. They don't know why to buy you other than price. And so they're probably left communicating potentially with the last website that they're on or the one that struck them the most intuitively. Is that you? Is your content so engaging that they have no choice but to contact you? The answer to the probable question is no, it's not. We don't look any different and we don't sound any different. So how do we solve that need or how do we solve that problem? By one, knowing what business you're really in. How are you setting yourself up to be different, interesting, compelling, relevant, and inspiring? You have to de dig so deep into your business to answer those questions, to know the specific problems that you solve, to know who you specifically solve them for, and then to know and understand how your product is a part of a solution. 
the, the real challenge for most of us is, is that we don't realize how hard this is and that we can't do it by ourselves. And we wonder why we're not generating the right traffic to our website that's converting into those sales opportunities. And it is because we are too busy building strategies and assigning goals and going out and implementing and executing without those foundational things in place. And when those foundational things are not in place, we're nothing more than a perceived commodity to the customer or to the prospect. So that's my challenge to you today. If you don't know how to do that, I really want to encourage you to look up the Foundations of Internet Marketing on my website. Go to the Begin Here page. Learn more about how the Internet holistically works for your business. Even if you're an offline business doing online marketing, it's even more important than you do this than the people that are just exclusively online businesses. So, jump over there today. Learn the process to begin here of learning how the Internet works to make your business function and present itself the way that is completely and totally possible so that people have a reason to buy from you. Thanks so much again for watching. I'm Don Purdom at unveiltheweb.com.